What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We're back on UFC Undisputed 3 of our career mode, Sergio Martinez. Um, it's been a hot minute. It's been, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks now since I've posted one of these videos. Uh, we're quite close to our retirement now, admittedly. I think we're 39 fights into our professional career. Sorry guys, let me just quickly, there we go, turn that light on. And uh, yeah, man, you know, we're we're looking good. We're, we've gone up to, uh, we are a champion. We're actually not um, fighting, f we're not defending our title this time. We're uh, going up in a weight class to fight um, Melvin uh, Gilliard. Gilliard? I don't know how to pronounce his name. So anyways, we're going to train. going to get into it, probably try and get at least two to three fights in because we're 39 fights into our career. So this will be officially our 40th pro fight. So let's get it. All right, let's have a look at the fight card. Like I said, it's been two weeks, man. It's been two weeks since I've played. It's been two weeks since you guys have seen it. We are the main, main event. Uh, I've gone up to 155. Obviously, normally I'm at featherweight at 145. And uh, yeah, man, lightweight has always been a tough one for us. Obviously, we do well in pride, but that's pride. And the UFC, we did suffer our first ever professional loss in the lightweight division. But, you know, I'm ready for it. You know, he's a bit taller. Uh, he's a bit older. He's got a lot more experience than me. Um, but those experiences with him all come from 10 extra losses and one draw. So I'm not afraid. So let's get into it. Right, now, while we do have a lot of knockouts, obviously this is the lightweight division. Um, you know, we, we do somewhat carry our power across. Um, you know, so we, we, we do have to watch out for that. My ground game is pretty good still, I have to say. I quite like my ground game in a... In, in, in this game, I do have to say. Oh, nice little combination there. Boom. I don't think so. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that body kick. Eat that body kick. It's okay. Boom. Eat that body kick one time. Oh, I thought I'd go for the takedown. I thought I'd risk it, you know. You just never know these days. You never know if you can get something like that. Oh, that front kick. That front kick was there. Got to stop missing. I got to stop whiffing. Boom. Good body shot. Oh, we caught him with a nice uppercut there. Leg kick. Oh, I missed that. That's rough. That's rough. That's right. That's right. Bang! Straight down the pipe. Boom! That's it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Caught him with that one. I saw him dip down to that side, so I was like, I'll catch him with that. All right, boom. Can I... Can I do this? Bit of this? Oh, Deny that shit. I'm just built different, baby. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Show me something. Show me something. Show me something, baby. Show me something, baby. Okay. Oh, that was naughty. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Boom. There we go. I didn't actually, I wasn't actually bothered. See, look now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Look, look. Now he's against the cage, huh? Now he's against the cage. Oh. Oh, what's up? What's up, huh? What's up? What's up? Boom. Eat that front kick to the face, baby. What's up? Hm? Yeah, eat that body kick. Eat that body kick. Eat that body kick, too. Oh, okay. Oh, I walked right into that. I walked right into that hook. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm there for it. I'm there for it, you know. I get a nice takedown? Nah, okay. It's good effort. Good first round. Good first round. I'm showing him. I'm showing him that I might I might be coming up from the featherweight, but I'm not scared of anyone, you know. Make sure I'm recording everything. <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care that he's a lightweight. He's a natural lightweight. I'm going up to fight him, you know. I'm, I'm ready for the lightweight champ. Watch out, protect your midsection. Okay, he's landing a few body shots. Okay, the coach has seen that. He's landing a few good body shots. I haven't really noticed it other than the front kick to the body, which I've been trying to sidestep. But I've just not been timing it correctly. So, you know, I got that now. I got that now. So, it's all good. So, oh my God, that was nasty. I tried to transition to his back, but he just got up too quick. I landed a few strikes from that position when I had him grounded. Um, I wanted to take his back, but uh, like I said, he got up too quick for it, so it's like fair play, I suppose. Bang, eat that. No, okay. Oh, I went to put that one right down the pipe like that. No, okay, fair. Fair. 
Step back. Leg kick. Okay. Oh, I dropped him with that one. Dropped him with that one. Boom. He that front kick, baby. Oh, he dropped me with that one. He dropped me with that one. That's tough. That's tough. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Boom. All right. I was going to say, he can't move and defend at the same time. That's fine. That's fine. I drop a piece. I'm okay with that. Boom. Eat that. Oh, I almost had him. I almost had him with her. I almost had him with her. Oof. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Oh. Oh. Some nasty shots. Take my time here. Take my time. I take my time. Oh, sidestepped. Sidestepped. Oh, I forgot I had that. I forgot I had that in my arsenal. Oh, okay. Oh, I dropped him with that one too. Maybe get a bit of ground and pound going here. Take that half guard. No? Okay. 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 Boom. Front kick to the face. Step back. Step back. I'm just ready. I'm just ready. I'm just fucking built different sometimes. Let me tell ya. Boom. Denied. Boom, let's go, let's go. Denied. Let's just fucking hit him with a few of those. All right, all right, I'm happy to go to round three. I'm happy to go to round three. Now, he's been rocked and dropped twice. I'm okay. I've been dropped once. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know, he's got that, he's got good power. You know, he's used to being at 155. I'm not used to being here often. Yeah. You know, I'm not used to being here often at the end of the day. You know, I've gone, I've had three fights. I've fought Jose Aldo for like 11 total rounds. Like, I've, I've knocked out Aldo. You know, he's beat me. Well, I beat him on points, I believe. You know, I believe that was still a robbery, but, you know, we'll let it go. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've, oh, look at that. Bing, that was a nasty shot. That was the lead hook, you know. Oh, that would that one probably would have binged in something major had that landed. Round three. This is the round. This is the round. I'm calling it right now, guys. I'm calling my shot. Eat that leg kick. Eat that leg kick. Eat that body kick. Eat that. Oh, okay. I got a combination. I got a combination. I got a combination coming. I got. Oh my god. I've got such a. Oh shit. Nope. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Bit of a close call, bit of a close call, that's all. Bit of a close call, that's all. Bit of a close call, that's all. Bit of a close call. I shouldn't let him hit me with that combination. That's all. That's all. That's all. Oh! Oh! Fuck! Take his back! Bitch! What's up? Huh? What's up? Let's go! Let's go! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I thought he had me. I won't lie. I won't lie, guys. I thought he had me for a second. When he caught me with that shot and my body buckled and I fell down like that, I thought he had me with that one. I thought he had me. Oh my lord, that was fucking an intense third round. The first round I felt like I was a bit overzealous. I won't lie. I was a bit overzealous in that first round. You know, I rocked him when he was on the ground. I feel like I abandoned the takedowns a bit. Maybe I should have taken to the ground more. Live and learn.
of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sergio Savage Martinez. Good fight, though. Good fight, a lightweight. Let's see what they have for us next. Could be a pride fight. Could be a lightweight title fight. Could be a featherweight title defense. You never know. But I was on 63 health, head health. I was okay. 14% body health. I took some good body shots as well, actually. I ate them. Um, I should go for the takedowns more, you know. Especially the uh, the clinch. Take the back and put them down like that into that, uh, that back mount position. Then try and take their back from there. I should try and do that more often because that's a really good position to be in. Um, you know, super dominant, just having their back, having them hooks under their, their like, their thighs. But no awards won, unfortunately, but that pushes us to 37-3. and three. That was our 40th professional bout. I mean, that's not a bad record, 37-3 and three and 40 fights. And we've been fighting some of the best to do it, like, for real. And people always mention my overall. The reason I have my overall low is because I've done a career before my overall was really high, and it's way too easy, way too easy. So I, I simulate all training games. So my overall stays relatively low, um, around I think it's like mid 70 something, um, which makes everything more challenging. And we have fights like that because if you're like a 91 overall in career mode, you fucking know you just just tear through people. Oh, fire of the year! Oh, we're 79 overall. That's not too bad. But we won fighter of the year. Is Scott Jorgensen the bantamweight champion? What the fuck? Maybe Frankie Edgar's the lightweight champ. I don't know. Jose Aldo, he was 10th there. Fight of the year. We should have at least been in the calling for fight of the year. We weren't, really. KO of the year. Oh, we won knockout of the year as well. Let's go. Good stuff. Fighter of the year and knockout of the year in the same year. We're on it, man. We are on it. We are on it. I'm so fucking nuts. <laughs> Sergio Martinez is such a beast. All right, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next on the uh, on the on the schedule. New division fight. Oh, fill in fight against BJ Penn. Third ranked. Have I defended my belt already? I have defended my belt, haven't I? Yeah, I've defended my belt a couple of times. I'm gonna fight BJ Penn. Fuck it. It's a short notice fight. We're already at 155. We've just fought Melvin. The cut down of featherweight takes some time anyway, so let's just say fuck it, and we'll just fight. We'll just fight at lightweight again. Um, BJ Penn's, you know, a good opposition. Though. He's good in this game too. Actually, it's gonna be a careful fight. Might uh, might try and take him down, which might not be the best bet, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, BJ Penn's not the biggest lightweight anyways, so I'm not overly worried. If I'm honest with you guys, I'm not. I'm not like overly overly worried. Oh, I know what I need to buy. All right, one sec, guys. All right, we're the co-main event on a light heavyweight title bout between Johnny Bones Jones and Rich Ace Franklin. That'd be a good one. I'd like to see the result of that. I've got a feeling uh, Jones probably wins third round submission, something like that. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. 42-year-old BJ Penn, 23 and 14. He's clearly on the decline. I, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's lightweight. It's a tough fight, but... You know, it's 155. We've just fought Melvin at 155. Let's just see how this one shakes out. I'm, I feel like I'm feeling pretty confident with this one. So let's get into it. All right. Now, while BJ Penn does specialize in pretty good ground game, I'm tempted to take him down still. Oh, really? Really? That Really? That's, that's how this fight's going to go, huh? That's how this fight's going to go. Oh! Oh, that's how it's gonna go, huh? That's how it's gonna go, boy! Alright then! Tell the lightweight division, I am here! Tell them I'm here! Tell them! Tell them I'm here! Nah, you thought. That's that's the thing. You thought. Really? 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 No. 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 What 
What's up, the bitch? He tried to go for a submission there. He's going to try and go for Sutton. Yeah, what's up, bitch? You, you're old, boy. You're old. You're old. You're old and slow. You're old and slow, boy. You're old and slow. Let me tell you one time. Huh? Huh? What's up? What's up? Huh? Oh, fuck. Didn't even need to hit him that much. I tried to show decency there. I tried. Mario Yamazaki, of course, wanted me to kill this man. You could see him cowering. Heads covering the back of the head. Hands covering the back of the head. Hit him once. I'm like, ref, this fight. Come on. He's clearly, he's almost not even there. Hit him one more time. Mario's finally like, all right, I'm clearly not going to see a murder today. So I as look at him. He's just like, look at him. He's just standing there waiting for me to murder 42-year-old BJ Penn. No. Show some decency. I will earn the respect of everyone while killing everyone. That's how it's done. Two punches on the ground. Look at that. Bing. Oh, mate, it's brutal. Not even fair, really. Not even, not, that wasn't even a fair fight. That wasn't even a fair fight, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. We're getting good in this lightweight division. 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sergio Savage Martinez. Let's go. So it's done. All right, let's see the, um, oh my God. We just, oh my God. We just fucking put a combination together at the start. And that, that, um, that head kick that dropped it, that, that rocked in the second time. My God, man. Like, you know, I feel like we could have finished the fight more, but I just had him on the ground, man. I just had him in that top mount position. Just throwing these strikes. Just tell him, fucking, you tell the lightweight division I'm here, bitch. I may be 41 fights in my professional career. I may be getting older, but I don't give a fuck, ho. Uh, knockout, fight of the night, knockout of the night, TKO round four for John Jones. So my submission, my prediction, not my submission, my prediction was off by one round and the method, but it is what it is. Well, 42-year-old BJ Penn just got fucked. So let's see who's next in the hit list. Let's see who's next. We ain't got many fights in us, to be honest, guys. We have not got many fights left in us. I won't lie. Penn fell to the lightweight star Martinez. Test the waters outside his natural weight class, baby. Ah. So we have to go back down to featherweight to defend the title. Because I, I don't really want to go to Pride Grand Prix, to be honest. Because that's a whole video. A Pride Grand Prix is a whole video. Uh, How many fights have we had? We've only had two fights in this video. Mm, we'll get in a third. Let's get in Diego Nunes. Doesn't really deserve the title shot, but we'll take it. You know, we'll. Uh, I'm I'm happy to take the title shot. Uh, but maybe we'll never earn that lightweight title, guys. You know, just defend our featherweight. We've had some good lightweight wins. You know, we've fought the likes of um, of BJ Penn and uh, Melvin Gullard. We've fought BJ uh, uh, Benton Henderson. Jose Aldo multiple times. Um, I believe we fought Mendez as well. You know, there's so many people we've fought. So many great fights we've had. You know. Alright, guys. We are the main event of the evening. Let me make sure my mic's still recording because it did fall over. It is still recording. Awesome. Main event of the evening. You know. Not a fight I'm too bothered about, if I'm honest with you. Oh, but Brock and Ben Rothwell. It's an interesting fight. I look forward to seeing who wins that one. But let's get it. All right, just another notch on the belt, really, for this one. Not a fight I'm too concerned about. Don't really care for this one, if I'm honest. Still going to fight. Still train properly, you know. Still train properly for this one, but, you know, it's just... It's not a fight that I... That I care about too much, if I'm honest. Bro, let me transition. This is this is this is how this fight is going to go, pretty much. I'm going to use a lot of my ground game here. Last few fights, I've used a lot of my stand up. I'm going to use a bit of my ground game here to to bully this boy.
I don't mind. You can hold me all you want, homie. Boom, now we posture up. Now this was your worst mistake. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Don't ever give me your back again, boy. Don't ever. Oh my lord. I'm, I'm fucking this man right now. Oh, come on. Not much this man could take at this point. He's a weak competitor. A weak challenge for my title. Doesn't even deserve to be here, really. He doesn't even deserve to be here. I'm going to knock him out cold. This this punch right here, Eddie. I'm going to posture up one time, hit him with one punch, and it's over. I'm calling it. Maybe not. All right. Bro, if, if you want to get knocked out on the feet, then just say that. Just say that. Just say you want to get knocked out on the feet, and we can do that. That's, that's, that's how we can shake out, you know? All right, he survived the first round. He literally survived that round, because fuck me, is his face a mess. Look at him. He's a mess. He's not even a challenge for the belt, bro. Why is he in here with me? Why is he in here with the GOAT, Sergio Martinez? So Martinez, Sergio Martinez is already at this point a legend, as the game said. But not only that, but he is, he is one of the best. No, no, he is the best martial artist to ever exist. The things he's done in that cage and in the pride ring, not many, no one has done before. No one has done. The only thing he lacks is, is title defenses up to Anton Silva's level. Really? 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 That's how it's gonna be. No, 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 come on. You can get up. Come on. You can get up. Come on. Get up. Get up one time. Come on. Come on. What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? What's... No, 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 no. No, no. You wanted this. You... No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Come on, you wanted this, homie. You wanted this. This is what you wanted, was it not? Was it not what you wanted? Was it not what you wanted? And no. Boom, easy. Easy get up. Don't ever talk to me again. That's how it's done, baby. I just killed a man. He is fucked. That's how it's done, boys. Out of range. Bing. That might be our most picture perfect KO. That very well might be. Our best KO yet, honestly. I don't know, though. The flying knee was pretty good. But, I mean, that was, like, perfect. Perfect left hand down the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Here you go. Listen to Anne Steele. Stop to this contest at 1 minute 48 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the UFC featherweight... Champion of the world, Sergio Sane Martinez. Let's go. That's how it's done, baby. All right, well, it's been a pretty fun episode. I haven't played the game in a little while. Um, it's been really good fun to actually get back to it. Um, hold on a minute. This motherfucker. Yes, yeah, so he had submission attempts, I think. I think he tried to submit me a couple of times and failed. That first round was a massacre. The second round was even worse. Absolutely battered him. Battered him. He was fucking out of it. 
that was a pretty good fight, though. Uh, oh, Brock Lesnar was KO'd. Oh, my Lord, in the fourth round. Fuck. Well, that's, you know, that's the title reign. Still alive, you know. Had a, had a short trip to the lightweight division. Showed them who's boss. Um, that was our, what, 42nd professional fight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how many fights we have. 43 in total? Might be 43. Or is it 49? I never remember. I never remember how many fights you have in this career. Normally they tell you, like, Martinez gets ready for his final title or his final fight ever or something like that. You know what I mean? So they normally say something to give you an, in an inkling that it is your final ever fight. So let's see what happens. I don't know if it does. Let's see what we can schedule. Um, let's defend, let's defend the belt against Mark Hominick next episode. Oh, yeah, I was going to say no, actually, I went to cancel that, but I fucking didn't back, and I was going to say we'll have that one fight at Pride, but I don't mind fighting back in the UFC, man. Get some more title defense under our belt, quite literally. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like, subscribe down below for more. Thank you as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to carry on with the series. Just carry on until the end and kind of see what's up and, you know, see what you guys think for the future of this series and this game on the channel. And, uh, yeah, but thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.